Hello everybody and welcome back to the vlog, uh, vlog number 26 I believe. Uh, so yeah, welcome back. Um, I've just got off the phone uh, from the dealership again this morning and you guys will be excited to know I've organised another demo tractor. Um, I have organised a New Holland T7 uh, to demonstrate. Um, we will need to get down to the dealership as soon as we can uh, but I have been out here this morning on the yard as you can see before I rang the dealership and I brought the Merlot back and I have hooked on the mixer wagon to the 6.3 and yeah so we need to get these cows fed this morning and probably need to do their bedding as well um, yeah, I'm excited because we get to demo a new Holland today. Um, I know we demoed the Massey not long ago, but I'm just giving all the tractors a try before you buy, sort of thing. So, yeah, it's really interesting, and I'm looking forward to looking forward to trying it. So, hopefully, it'll be a good vlog for you guys too. Uh, we are going to use it to plant our corn. Uh, just because uh, that's what it's, it's at the dealership, so might as well use it. There's a fire on the local street because traffic jam. Okay, so the milkman's not going to make it today, but that's okay. We can get rid of our milk another time. Uh, so that's the cows all filled up. Uh, but yeah, I'm aiming to replace this 6320 here for something a bit bigger and a bit more modern, hopefully. Well, it doesn't necessarily have to be as uh, more modern, but definitely bigger. Um, so the 6.9 is just poking out of the shed there. Um, that is on the straw blower. So we will get that over and chop some straw in for the cows too. Make sure they're nice and happy. So there we go. Shut this door up here too. Um, shut the workshop up. The 69 hasn't been started this morning, but reliable as ever. So we'll get this over to them. And then I think we'll take obviously the Land Rover over the shop, over to the shop just to make it uh, quicker and a bit easier for us. Yeah, the, the grain dryer is looking pretty uh, ready to go. It's a shame we haven't even got our corn in the ground yet. So what I'm hoping to do today is make two vlogs today. So I'm hoping to, this morning, get our corn drilled. And this afternoon, get our soybeans drilled as well. If that's possible, I'm not sure. We'll have to see. So let me get this put in here. They're fairly happy at the minute, the cows. They're taking a lot of straw today, but then we haven't done it for a while. There we go. So they took all of that, but that'd be enough to get them uh, by today. Uh, we can obviously put some more in tomorrow or the next day. So it's not to worry. Um, I couldn't get the uh, people that did the concreting here to uh, smooth down that area. They didn't want to, um, so... I think we just have to leave that bumpy, but it's not the end of the world. Right, so we'll back this back into the shed here. Um, try not to clip the wall. It looks very tight. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, so the combine is actually not far away from being used now. We're uh, in summer, officially, so... Um, that's why we kind of need to get a shift on with the um, planting because as you can see our um, barley is getting near ready so it won't be long before we're combining that. Uh, so I will head over to the Land Rover and hop in. Okay here we are heading over to the shop. Luckily it doesn't take long at all. 
Uh, they said to me when I rang them that they would get the New Holland all ready for us. And obviously it's... Um, I have agreed to buy the planter and the sort of front storage tank for the planter. So that I will need to pay for now. But the tractor is just a demo and a sort of thank you from the dealership uh, for all of the uh, sort of work, not work, all of the uh, custom that we give them. So, you know, we're a fairly big customer. So uh, they treat us well, I guess. Valuable customer. Oh, that's close. Going too quick today. Shot past. It's not too bad though. We can just back up. So, all right. So I see the New Holland over there. We will park in our usual spot. That should do. Well, could have gone closer in, but I don't think anyone else is coming. So yeah, here's the tractor. Looking good. I'll go in, speak to them, work out how much it is for the front and the back planter and pay them and yeah, sort that all out. See you in a minute. Okay, there we go. So thirty eight thousand pounds for our planter here and our storage box. They have filled it up for us, which is nice. And obviously we get to demo this new Holland T seven. So I'm um, looking forward to that. And it's got the uh, pipe set up there. It's actually probably quite a lot of uh, preparation they had to do to get this ready. Um, but yeah, 38,000 is quite a lot of money. But um, we do have 163 left. And like I said, and like I keep saying in the vlogs, we do need to buy a corn header at some point for our uh, combine. And we do need to maybe upgrade our trailer and get some mowers so there's a lot of things on our list but hopefully it will be okay so here's our field just down the road um, we'll put the beacons on just because we're stopping quickly get this gate open oh, it's looking good it's a nice setup that's for sure so we will pull in here go down the lump I will shut that gate up, uh, and then I guess we will just unfold and start to head round. So I'm pretty sure I just have to put it in and start it off, and that's all I've got to do. We'll just get out. Seem to be running okay. So yeah, it is going in fine. Um, we'll just carry on going round. See how this new Holland uh, pulls it. We are quite close to the edge here, but um, that's okay. Oh, I like this tractor. It's very, it's very, very comfy. You can see the seat and everything rides very well with the field. It's certainly more comfy than our 6320, that's for sure. Um, it's got a nice command arm here too. Lots of colourful um, hydraulic spools, so that's nice. Um, it seems to be doing a good job, this planter. Very happy so far. I mean, we need to get this uh, corn in, and we need a good crop from this. So, um, yeah, hopefully this uh, planter does a good job, because we've uh, just spent 38000 on it, so let's hope it's a, a good investment. Obviously, we've had to pay a fair bit for our grain dryer as well, and we've still got to order the propane for that, which is going to be quite expensive to fill that... Uh, propane tank up but maybe we won't have to fill it completely because I'm not sure how many trailer loads we get out in this field there we go but we're almost around this corner now um, I will probably chuck the drone up for a bit get um, 
go around the headland a couple more times and then come back to you after I've set up uh, the GPS. Because I believe this tractor has GPS. I think it does. And um, yeah, I'll do that. So I'll chuck the drone out and crack on with the headland. Free and dive into the sky. Hear the wind crying. Just struck out with the GPS now. Um, just been around the headland as you uh, all saw, uh, and I am impressed with this tractor. Um, it definitely has the power for this job. Um, it's it's very very easy and um, simple to drive as well, which is always a nice a nice thing. Um, there's plenty of hydraulics uh, for all of the. Uh, folding up and fan and everything else so and I've just set the GPS up so hopefully that will work okay it seems like it is uh, we are running out of corn I don't think we're gonna get this field done without uh, having to refill it um, but the dealership is just there and they keep uh, seeds in stock so we can just pop in when we need to uh, but yeah, we're on schedule for doing this uh, this morning and being able to get our other field drilled also. Um, so yeah, that's good. We're just getting this little funny curvy bit off, worked off here. And then it should be the longer runs over the back. There's one little bit there that we missed, so I might as well just lift the back up and go back for this now I think this tractor is a very strong contender or something similar to this um, for our upgrade it's just expensive uh, I'm not sure how much this tractor's cost but I think it's going to be pretty expensive for a tractor this size so we still might look just second hand but in New Holland uh, it's definitely something that we can I definitely look into. Um, so yeah, that's something to look forward to in the future. Uh, ideally, I would have liked it. I would like to buy it before harvest, but everything seems to be going along so quick. I mean, I've still got our grass fields to cut over there, and the one in, at home to make some hay or or silage. We, I mean, it needs to be done, but. We're just so busy at the minute on the farm. Uh, I think next year, or this this autumn, I think we're going to try and get more fields planted in the autumn rather than leaving so many to the spring and just leave whatever fields we're going to plant in corn until spring because corn has to obviously be planted uh, earlier, uh, uh, later in the season sort of thing. Um, but yeah. I mean, we're getting there, but it's just been so busy on the farm lately. Uh, every vlog we've been doing something. I mean, last vlog we did the muck spreading on our other field. And the vlog before that, we cultivated this ground up here. But we're getting there. Let's see, there's only I'm only a sort of one-man band. Um, it might be nice every now and then to get someone in to help. I'm just trying to save money and sort of be as profitable as we can but come harvest time I might get someone in to help maybe drive the combine or something I'm not sure um, but yeah it's definitely something to look into 
So I think at the end of this run, we'll fold up, head over next door, and just to fill up with some seed. Uh, and then we will come back out here and finish off. But yeah, I'm really pleased. I'm pleased in how this is performing, like I uh, said. Uh, the GPS is working really well as well. So we just get that folded up, like so. We can leave the gate open since we're not going to be long. But yeah, look at that. We're getting there. Looks good as well. It's a nice looking setup. So we will um, just head to the dealership now. We'll get the beacons on just as we're pulling out, and it's quite a well, completely blind when you've got this uh, seed box on the front or fertilizer box. Um, like I said, luckily we're just next door here to refill, so it's not too bad. There's the mighty defender in a parking spot. Um, they have got rid of our first spinner. I'm not sure what they've done with that, but it isn't here. Right, so I'll go and chat to them, uh, get them to bring out another bag of seed. Okay, so here we are, £900 for this. Um, so we will get unfolded and um, refill. They're so helpful in this dealership, honestly. I cannot fault them. So I think we just back up to it here and refill. There's going to be some left, but um, we can come back for that uh, soon. Uh, but for now, I think I'm going to chuck the drone up and get this field finished off. Behind your back Chase the light When the world is getting darker I have a dream Where love's the only side Here we are guys, all folded up And all done So I'd say that went Incredibly successfully All planted um, We don't even have to worry about this now we just got to leave it to uh, do its own thing and grow. Uh, that's all. We can shut this gate. And the next time we'll be back here is with the combine uh, to cut the corn. So yeah, that's really good. Um, really pleased with that. It's a it's a big weight off off of the farm shoulder. That's for sure. To um, get that finally planted. Um, because we're cutting it quite close now, we don't want it to be really planted any earlier, just in case, um, you know, it's uh, it get to it grow too late. Otherwise, and it'd be winter before it's ready. So, yeah, it's in the ground, and uh, I'm pleased about that. So, it's a lovely planted cornfield. So, all we got to do now is plant our soybeans this afternoon so like, like I said that'd be in a separate vlog to this one uh, I just don't want to make the vlogs too long so I will drop off these back at the yard and um, 
try and find a place for them where they're out of the way. They're going to need to be washed off first. Uh, but we're here now, so won't be too bad. Uh, obviously, we are washed off the tractor for the dealership as well, since it's a demo. Um, I won't use it for planting because um, I don't want to really take uh, the mix, so I would just get this all washed off. It's not actually that dirty, to be honest. It's a bit of muck here and there, but it's just a quick little once-over just to shine everything back up. Yeah, I'm pleased with that uh, drill. I mean, I know there's not a lot to go wrong with it being new, but it's easy to use and set up. So our cultivator's there. So, what's in this shed? God, the shed's pretty busy. What about over here? Also fairly busy. I think this one's full up as well. So, I think we just have to leave these out in the courtyard for now until we have a little rummage around. I mean, it won't do them any harm being sat outside. Just for now, obviously we'll get it away before the winter. Um, but you can sit here for now. So we'll take that off. And unhook. Perfect. And then we just spin around. We'll put this in front of it so it saves a bit of space. And put that oh, about there. Perfect. I mean, know it's a bit messy, but uh, we need to have it sort out in the shed. Um, actually, while I'm heading over to the dealership, is there anything I need to take? Uh, the mower I'd like to sell, but not today. So no, I think we're all good. So yeah, I will head back to the dealership and get this tractor dropped off. Here we are, back at the dealership again. <laughs> um, so we park this tractor up here. That is our seed bag. Um, we won't take that back with us today we will have to come back for that I don't think we're gonna have room in the Land Rover but yeah there's nothing left uh, nothing else left to do we'll put that up it's been very good I'm definitely considering New Holland's uh, we don't need to say anything to the dealership let's see it's been dropped off but now we're gonna head home and have some lunch and call it a vlog I think um, like I said, tomorrow, or not tomorrow, in the next vlog, we get our other field uh, seeded. Um, and that is our main priority for tomorrow. We maybe sell our milk as well. So, we're almost back. Luckily, this is uh, very quick once you're in the car. Yeah, it's been a good morning. Um, we uh, have definitely got what I wanted to get done and the New Holland worked well and we didn't have any problems which is the main thing so we'll pull the Land Rover back in here and park it up there we go so yeah um, I think I'm going to call it here for a vlog uh, be sure to tune in to the next one uh, I'll have some lunch and then we'll crack on with that seeding in the next vlog. So, yeah, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed and I see, hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.